Today for marketing terms, I'm gonna be going over content management systems, which are shortened as CMS. So a content management system is software that allows you to create and manage your content much easier and much more effectively and efficiently. You can collaborate with other users when you're using a CMS and you don't need to know how to professionally code a website. So with a content management system, it will store all of your published blog posts, any of the products that you've created, any of the images or videos that you've uploaded, any of the pages you created. So a CMS makes your life much easier when you are creating a website. So let's start with an example. And let's say I wanna create a brand new blog where I'm publishing my favorite recipes. So I'm taking pictures and videos as I'm cooking and I wanna upload those pictures and videos. And then I wanna also write my recipe and make sure I keep it all very organized with my blog. So what I can do is use WordPress, which allows me to customize the front end of my website with a theme. There are thousands of themes to choose from when it comes to WordPress. I can install different plugins and I can easily publish my recipes as blog posts and I don't have to worry about any of the management that comes along with it. So if I open up the back end of my WordPress website for beachfrontdecor.com, you can see right here, I have all posts. So these are all of my blog posts and all I need to do is click on the add new button it will open up a page that will allow me to write a blog post, which I already have this one written and published here, and I can just click a button to publish it. Now WordPress does the rest to actually store everything that I write in a database and make sure they're keeping track of all of the files that I upload in the back end of my website hosting. So it might seem a little bit complicated for how a CMS works, but ultimately all you need to know is that it makes your life much easier as you are creating written content uploading visual content, you can link out to other pages with a click of a button. So you can categorize everything you need to categorize. And then once we publish our blog posts, it's gonna show up on the front end of our website and we can customize the way that our website looks by using different WordPress themes and by using plugins. So if we come over here to my themes under appearance and themes, you can see I have two different themes installed. The 2022 comes with WordPress when you install WordPress and this is the theme that I purchased for my website. I can also use plugins, so there's a bunch of different plugins here. So the benefit of using a CMS or a content management system is that you can write your blog posts, you can categorize them very easily, you can install plugins that allow you to do things, for example, like upload and create products on your website, so this is all done through the WooCommerce plugin, and I can also create pages on my website. I can upload media to my website. It's all stored by my CMS. So if we come back over here and we go over another example real quick, let's say my recipe blog becomes so popular that I decide I wanna start selling sauces and spices. So I'm getting a ton of traffic to my website and I'm starting to build a bigger brand. What I can do is I can use that WooCommerce plugin I just went over to create an online store and publish my products with WordPress. Or what I can do is migrate my WordPress blog posts and my entire WordPress website over to Shopify and start selling with Shopify. So I wanted to use this second example because there are other very popular content management systems, even though WordPress is the most common and the most popularly used CMS across the internet. So I've listed some of the more popular content management systems. So you have WordPress, Shopify, HubSpot, BigCommerce, Wix, Drupal, Squarespace, and Joomla. So these are all very popular content management systems that you can use to keep all of your content organized. So I wanna finish this video by going over an example of a Shopify website. So this is pipsnacks.com. They sell pipcorn and a bunch of other very popular snacks. So with this website, it's all on Shopify. So if we just scroll over their menu here, you can see they have a very nice menu that's easily customized. And what you need to know when you are using a CMS is it makes it much easier to do these things where you don't have to create and write custom code. You don't have to hire a developer to actually make your website look like this. You can do it even if you don't have a ton of experience doing this. And then you're able to easily categorize all of your different products after you publish them. So let's say I click on mini popcorn as this category. I come in here, there's nine products for sale. They have a great way that I can navigate and pick out different flavors, different types of snacks. You can add these products to your cart. And now Pipcorn or Pip Snacks, they don't have to worry about 
all of the different development that goes into building a website like this, they pay Shopify a monthly fee to run their website and all they have to do is make sure that the content and the products on their website stays optimized and you wanna make sure you upload really good images and you wanna make sure you write really good product descriptions. So as we scroll down here, you can see there's reviews here. We have different images of the products. They have nutrition facts. So you can do pretty much anything you want with a content management system. So coming back over here, the best way to create a website is using a CMS like WordPress because you can have multiple users that are working on your website. You can create a completely separate administrative section so that you maintain ownership over your website by using a CMS. So hopefully this all makes sense. A content management system makes your life easier if you are creating and developing websites because it's software that allows you to keep all of your content organized and you don't have to worry about saving everything into a database, make sure you're saving all of your files in the back end of your website hosting server. What a CMS does is it does all of that for you so you can focus on the content that you're writing, the images that you're creating, all of these different things that help bring people to your website. If you have any questions about a content management system, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.